This is a model training and forecasting architecture for uh, for what we have uh, before what we had before for uh, time series forecasting with uh, ML powered uh, class or ML powered functions uh, in uh, Snowflake Cortex. Uh, you start with a training data set. Basically, this is historical data in the past, and uh, you pass it to the train uh, train uh, step uh, through a create forecast uh, statement. So at this moment, you basically create a model. Internally, they are using a gradient, the gradient boosting algorithm. A model is created, and this would be an SQL model that uh, you can later uh, uh, address uh, and to execute uh, different store procedures. Yeah, store procedures with a call call statement. Uh, the way you can see it on the right side. Uh, for instance, if you want to to do a forecast. You call the model with a forecast store proc, yeah, the store, uh, forecast method in this case, uh, and uh, yes, uh, you can pass uh, just the number of forecasting periods you want, or you've seen before. If you use exogenous variables, uh, you have to pass also a test data set, yeah, and uh, this will generate a prediction data set that you can eventually persist into a permanent table. Right below, yeah, based on the model, also you can call different other other methods that you have, and uh, you have explain feature importance, yeah, that will return uh, sorted by uh, in a descending order with a most influential feature on top, uh, different uh, features including the uh, independent variables that you pass, uh, different features that influence the outcome. Uh, you can use uh, show evaluation metrics yeah, to, to show typical uh, model evaluation to performance metrics at this point. Uh, you can call show training logs. You see how you can uh, use uh, config, the config object uh, to mention if you want to skip uh, the errors or if you don't want to skip the errors yet, yeah, the, the errors will automatically be, be saved there. Another diagram uh, that uh, is focused on the kind of warehouses you may use the, at every step. Yeah, you, we didn't talk specifically about this one, but uh, let's have a look here. Uh, if you start with data ingestion yeah, from stage files, from a data lake, uh, so you have this prepare and transform step. Uh, this is usually outside of the uh, typical model training and uh, serving, but uh, let's focus on this one a bit. Uh, in here, uh, yeah, you may use standard we small warehouses, uh, but take advantage also of the parallelism in the copy into command. Uh, it's a good practice to split up uh, your files in the staged uh, directory. Uh, all this data will, can be loaded in parallel into the training data set. Okay. The training data set contain your actual, contains your actual data. So this is historical data up to the present point. Uh, you can, in the train phase, uh, use, uh, they usually recommend for larger data sets, uh, absolutely, uh, to use a Snowpark optimized warehouse, which contains uh, 16 times more RAM. Uh, yes, it costs, uh, costs uh, one and a half, you know, the price of the standard warehouses, but... Uh, if you have a lot of data that must be processed uh, once in the memory, uh, is recommended to do this. Uh, the train step uh, on the constructor, remember, that's on the constructor of your forecast uh, uh, model object. Uh, the model will be saved. Yeah? Very likely, the, the status of this model is saved as a file in an internal stage. Yeah? You cannot see it, you, you don't have access, but definitely is a, the model has a state. Uh, when you call, let's say, forecast on this specific model, because forecast is the most uh, important method of, uh, of our forecast, uh, uh, forecast class, uh, it is recommended, yes, it is recommended if you serve this model to multiple uh, multiple users to eventually use a multi-node uh, large uh, standard warehouse. Uh, this is typical practice in uh, Snowpark ML, as you've seen before, in Snowpark and so on. So 
training model is recommended to be done with a Snowpark optimized warehouse. And just remember, we're talking about large data sets here. We're not talking about data sets that we use before with thousands of lines and so on. We're talking about millions of billion, even billions of points or so on. So uh, use a Snowpark optimized for training and use a multi-node standard for uh, serving 